Sorry. Can I say sexy bitches? Or yeah, bitches? dude, say something okay. like there's some sexy mother mofos or something. Okay. Let's stick with bitches. What's up? This is Sergio Gutierrez from the Clay Colton Band, guitar player in San Diego. You know, when I get lonely and I need a little loving and I need some sweet, sweet talk, I tune in Skull and Bones Radio. Those guys love. Well. They're sexy bitches. Welcome back to another round of the Skull and Bones Show. Tastes so good, make you want to slap your mama. Matter of fact, come here, mama. Right here on Skull and Bones Radio. Welcome back, everybody. Dickless. <laughs> Ass like a 10 year old boy. <laughs> I love that scene. <laughs> what is that from? What is that scene from? It was from True Lies, dude. <laughs> the movie True Lies? Yeah, dude, with uh, Bill Paxton and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, Jamie Bill Lee Paxton, Curtis. or what is it? William Paxton is his his. Is that his, his name? official name? Yeah, yeah. Dude, it sucks. He's gone, man. We, lo- we lost another one. Um, passed away, what, age 60, 61? Yeah, dude, he had like heart surgery and, and his recovery just it didn't go well. That's crazy, man. We're losing yeah. a lot of these, you know, uh, celebrities that we've more commonly, you know, grew we up grew with. up on. Yeah, yeah, dude. You know, it's crazy because I literally I was just talking about this before I walked in the studio, man. I was like, I only probably got about another forty years left. I mean, I'll probably be gone too. So, oh, man, why are you trying to bring that vibe? Oh man, I'm just saying. I mean, Carrie Fisher went in her sixties. Now this fool went at sixty-one. This, this fool, huh? Yeah, dude. I mean, I love the guy, man. It just sucks that he's gone. I might be one of them too. But you know what? Hopefully, I'll have a Hollywood star. By that point, everybody will come give me some flowers. I love how he turns it on him. <laughs> well, <laughs> and you're surprised? <laughs> no, I'm not. Hey, <laughs> if, if you want to help out, though, uh, GoFundMe, uh, they need about $800 for their 10000 campaign of help protect Betty White from 2016. What? There's a GoFundMe to protect Betty White from dying in 2016, which what? she survived, which is probably why they're not their $10,000 <laughs> goal. But we need to save these... Uh, these uh, these people, my friend. How do you save Betty White with like eight hundred dollars? I don't get that. Or oh, even ten thousand. Even ten grand. How do you save her from dying? Every dollar counts, man. Well, I, you know, it's like the um, Magic Johnson, and you just inject money into their bloodstream, and they live forever, man. Oh, dude, I saw that episode of South Park. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. But yeah, dude, it's nuts about old uh, old Bill Paxton, man. I mean, he was in Tombstone, Aliens. I love I love Tombstone. Oh, dude, I was a killer. What? And he played a pretty. He was. I forget his character, but he was a pretty pretty big role in that movie. Heck yeah, dude, he was in Titanic too, bro. He was kind of like the narrator. Was he? Yeah. Dang, and he's from Fort Worth, our hometown or our home state, rather. Oh, so he's just down the street from us, huh? Yeah, from Fort Worth. Hey, man, he's a Texan, baby. Did he die in Los Angeles? Uh, yeah, twenty fifth, died at sixty one, heart problems. Didn't say where, but you know. Sad to, sad to lose him. Yeah, that sucks. I know he lived in Ojai, Ojai, which is just north of Los Angeles. But uh, anyways, that sucks that, that he's gone. Um, well, Ojai, Ojai. Ojai? Yeah, O-J-A-I, Ojai. It's called Ojai? Yes, sir. What? I told you, you guys. I told you guys I, I shouldn't have graduated school, man. I don't know how I graduated. Well, anyhow, since we got on this celebrity topic, I just want to say, Bill Paxton, brother, I love you. Much love. I'll see you in probably about 40 years. Much love, man. So anyhow, on the celebrity topic, though. I found this quite interesting. I think we're all going to be a little blown away by it. So this comes from inspotap.com. That's weird. I've never heard of that. So anyways, it's called 10 – or not 10 celebrities. It doesn't even say how many there are. So I guess we'll – but oh, 15 celebrities who ditched their fame for normal jobs. 15? 15, bro. All right. So Why would you do a thing like that? I don't know, man. But I know this first one shocked me. So – if you guys, all right, so I'm going to get Matt, and this includes you. I'm going to give you guys a okay. movie, and and I'm going to give you, uh, just pick out somebody who you think out of that movie uh, lost their fame. So, American Pie, baby. Tara Reid. Well, no, she's still famous. Jason Biggs. No, it wasn't Jason Biggs. Uh, Sean William Scott. Sean William Scott. No, I guess he kind of, no, but okay, it's my bad. So, they ditched their fame for normal jobs. Let me put it that way. So, no, it's none of the above. You guys ready for it? Hit me. Well, Matt, you have the drum roll. All right, you ready, Matt? You got a, you got a, you got a, you got an answer? Or no. Go for it, baby. Okay, the Shermanator, baby. Shermanator. Out of that? American Pie, you don't remember the Shermanator? Oh yeah, the redhead. Yeah, yeah, the redhead. He was just like, hasta la vista, baby. Get you ready what? to deploy. Yeah. Okay, remember that? so what did he did to ditch his, you know, stardom for? Oh, dude, this is a shame, bro. It says nowadays the Shermanator has less than 100 followers on Twitter and is serving sushi. To a hungry uh, customer base at an L.A. restaurant 
What a shame for a former star. Now, do you think that was by his choice? you think he gave it up? or I don't know, dude. That's craziness. It could, be, it could be like the dude from um, uh, Saved by the Bell. Uh, wait, who's where, that? Where nobody, the Screech. Oh, what happened to him? Same thing. Well, he, he, I think he just couldn't get work, any more work, but it yeah, could have been the situation. You like know what? That. That's funny because I haven't seen Urkel, Steve Urkel, since like since Urkel. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, his name was Chris Owen, the Shermanator. His real name. So is now Chris he's Owen. serving sushi, huh? Yeah, in L.A. somewhere. Dude, that sucks. That really blows. All right, let's see what uh, number two. Number two. Uh, number two. I don't know if I want to use this one because I don't know who she is. Her name's Susan Boyle, the celebrity, uh, the singer, right? Yeah, from. Um... American Idol. American Idol, right? She was good. Was she? She's her. She. I think she got a lot of uh, recognition because she didn't. She wasn't glamorous at all. She was kind of. It looked like she fell off the ugly tree and hit yeah, every branch say, on the way down. I was about to say, but she, she had that's a good pretty voice. mean, John. But very <laughs> accurate. Very accurate. She had a good voice. She was talented. Well, it says everyone's jaw dropped when they heard Susan Boyle's sensational, sensational voice on Britain's Got Talent. Though she only came in second place, she still scored a record deal and millions of hearts. But her singing career didn't last long. Um and, and she regrets it. I don't know what it doesn't say what her new job is, but that yeah. sucks. So. She had a face only her mother could love. <laughs> <laughs> so messed up, dude. I just wanted to use that one. Oh wait, it does say what she did. Okay, so after Boyle started hitting the bottle and landed herself in rehab for excessive drinking, her record deal was pulled, essentially ending her career as a singer. So off to managing a local betting store, she went. What is that? Probably like a, almost like a mattress firm or I don't know, like a bed furniture store. Are you in a spot for a local. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> the best night's sleep I ever got. <laughs> um, man, that's that's just depressing. But that's I could totally see that happening. You know, you you get you change your life from everyday average Joe to somebody who everyone has their eyes on, and you do the you jaywalk and it's publicized, and you don't know what to do with yourself, so you yeah. drink. That's true. I'd be. I bet, I bet Kim Kardashian would lose her damn mind. Oh, dude, you ain't lying. She's I want to go back to being a normal person. Yeah, she probably will. Well, she ain't got to worry about that because I'm i pretty sure she's set up. But if you guys ever fired me from this gig, I'd probably be in Betty Ford, man. I don't know what I'm – they wouldn't take me. I don't have enough money for <laughs> Betty Ford. What would you do? I don't know, man. I don't even think about it. Kind of, It's kind of sad. Well, I'd probably end up like old Bill Paxton before too long. nothing else to live for. I know, man. I got nothing else. You guys, all I got. All right, here we go. Number three. Taryn – Number three. <laughs> Taryn Noah Smith. It says then. You probably recognize Taryn as Marcus Mark. Taylor from the hit sitcom Home Improvement. He was the youngest kid. What was his name? Uh, hold on, I just lost it. Taryn Noah Smith. T A R A N. I'm curious. Then so. Noah then Smith. And it says so. Basically, he was the youngest dude at uh, Home Improvement. It says his career on the show began at the young age of seven and ended at 16. He went to do something a little more cheesy. And I have to click the next page. And what did he do? When he turned 18, Taryn gained control of his $1.5 million trust fund and started a California-based non-dairy cheese manufacturer and restaurant. Play food with a specialty in vegan and organic food. So that's not so bad, though, because he, he went the entrepreneurial route. He didn't like get you know become a, an alcoholic or something. He does look kind of funky. I ain't going to lie about that. But. but he started his own business. So, okay. That's not... Well, we don't know how... Oh. Well, that was like Sammy Hagar uh, that we, uh, we met. Yeah. You know, he... Stop doing music, but now he's a super successful businessman. Kind of uses music to propel him on, you know. But he, I mean, he still got his fame, though. I don't think these papers are like, really like famous anymore. But here's another one. Okay, somebody mentioned "Stay by the Bell" earlier. Number five. number five. five. Lee Ann Creel. It says then, if there's anything Lee Ann Creel is recognized for, it's probably her role as tough girl Tori on "Saved by the Bell." She also had her earlier roles in "Parent Trap" franchise. Let's see what she's up to now. Ew, God, dear God, what happened? She probably her? made a lot of money off of those two, same as the previous guy. It says nowadays Leanne runs Creel Studio, a food, travel, and lifestyle Ooh. production company, as a photographer and filmmaker with clients including Disney and the Food Network. She don't look that good anymore either. That sucks. Oh, dude, why well, I mean, this guy's still kind of famous? All right, man, ready to hit the next one? Oh, okay. The next one is uh, five. number five plus five. number one <laughs> equals six. Go. <laughs> George Foreman, baby. It says, remember Big George, the professional boxer? Foreman is a two-time world heavyweight champion and an Olympic gold medalist. He's not throwing punches anymore, though. Anybody know what he's doing now? Foreman Grill. Yeah, I guess he should have made the list, huh? No, he, I mean, I'm, 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 li- I'm thinking about people that are, are not no, you know, any longer successful. Yeah, these are people that have retired 
and now this is what they do. I'm talking about someone that's like got cut off. <laughs> hey man, don't and be they got to go here. to McDonald's to make rent. You know. Okay, here's one. Here's one for you then. Frankie Munez. Remember this guy? Frankie was the star in Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, he then went on to act in big films like Big Fat Liar and Agent Cody Banks. After Frankie decided acting wasn't his lifelong passion, he signed a two-year contract as a Jensen Motorsport driver and joined the bands You Hang Up and King's Foil as a drummer. So he's a musician and a race car driver. Hmm. That's crazy. I didn't see that one coming. And what was his name? Frankie Munez. He was on Malcolm in the Middle. I already, already changed Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who he is. Oh, my God. Who's this girl? Jesus Christ. You ever heard of Nikki Blonsky? No. Google her real quick. You're going to be like tripped, <laughs> tripped out by this one. N-I-K-K-I? Yeah, N-I-K-K-I, yeah. And Blonsky, B-L-O-N-S-K-I. Why? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I mean, why? Not I. <laughs> She's a heavy set girl. Oh, yeah, dude. She says, is best known for playing Tracy in 2007 Hairspray and her role as Maggie in Queen Size, the actress and singer, also starred in the series Huge. She's a bit huge herself. But then her pocket started feeling lighter by the minute. Well, that's not good. What's she doing now? Do we have any like mainstream? I don't, man. I can't. I'm only. I'm getting surprised as you guys are. Matt over there playing on his phone. I think he done <laughs> lost his interest. He said to make up for a time tough time landing new roles. Blonsky got her cosmetology license and became a hairstylist. Her customers seem happy about it too. She did a great job, and I look like a superstar. One said. So apparently she's like a superstar, doing uh, what you call it. Oh no. It's pretty rare, though, that, you know, I feel like she filled a very niche role and kind of after those roles were done, it was like, eh, what's what's next? Yeah, I'm with you on that. I'm, I, okay, so I'm trying to, like, scroll some of these that I don't even know. So can I, can I throw one in here? Go ahead. Dustin Diamond, the dude from Saved by the, by the I Bell. I know who you're talking about. Talking about Screech? Screech, yeah. What? So I'm looking at here and just kind of running through his Wikipedia page. But apparently he had a, a sex tape, right? He did? In 2006, Diamond uh, directed and released his own sex tape <laughs> called Screeched, Saved by the Smell. Oh, my <laughs> God. Did he really? Yeah. Casey's informed me about this before. That's disgusting. Now, he's a yeah. porn guy now. Uh, that was in 2006. I, I don't know what he's doing more recently, but it also says here that uh, <clears throat> he stated in an interview on Where Are They Now on the Oprah uh, Winfrey Network that he was not only in the sex tape, but rather... Oh, he wasn't in the tape, but a, a stunt double. Hmm. What? He was a stunt. He wasn't even in his own How sex tape. How are you tape? a stunt devil in a sex tape? Yeah, yeah, dude. Especially for your own tape. That's I just go in for thing. the anal. Everything else is done by actors. That is so. Yeah, he he, he had a stunt devil for his own sex tape. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> that is I, I just so had retarded. to share that. All right. Well, here's what about? Uh, okay, here we go. I got one for you guys. Remember Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or Willy Wonka? Yeah, yeah. Willy Wonka. There you go. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Remember the little kid. Peter Ostrom, yeah, the yeah. little kid in the movie. It says after filming, Ostrom picked up a passion for horses and pursued veterinarian school. Since graduating in 1984, he's been practicing at the Countryside Veterinarian Clinic in Lowville, New York, and mainly focuses on horses and cows. Crazy, right? That's crazy, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's weird. And that dude probably made a lot of money too. But now he's like not famous at all anymore. Well, you know, as you know, Mick, the industry is pretty crazy. And I think a lot of people, they see a side of it that they had no idea existed. And then they're like, you know what? I'd rather do something normal. They probably do. I got I got one kind of trippy for you guys. You ready for this one? All right. Do you, you guys got? remember? Okay. First off, you remember Suzanne Summers? No. You don't? You remember Step by Step? No. You remember Three's Company? Mm, you guys ever seen Three's Company? I have not, no. Oh, what is wrong with you? Okay, so anyway, Suzanne Summer used to be a hot blonde, and she was in this TV show called uh, uh, Three's Company, and then she went eventually into this show called Step by Step. And the son, his name was um, JT, what was the name of the show? I can't remember what his name of the show was. JT Lambert, okay? But his real name is Brandon Call, and he's from Poway. Oh, okay, he's a hometown boy. Yeah, he's a hometown boy here in San Diego. So homeboy wrapped up the show, and guess what he does now? Manages the Burger King. Close. You're not too far away from <laughs> Chick Fil A. He mm, different industry. He is now working for his parents' gas station slash car wash in Poway. That's crazy, right? The dude was on step by step with Suzanne Summers. You think he's still making a lot of money though from like the residuals or whatever? Nah, dude. I think I think that by this point, because nobody plays it anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't see that TV show anywhere anymore. But that was a show we all grew up. That was on the same time as Full House. I remember Joe Rogan talking about. Um, 
uh, on his podcast or something. He's like, yeah, I don't have to worry about any money anymore. Fear Factory paid for that. You know, pay, uh, I still get paid from Fear Factory. Like they Are you pay serious? my bills. Yeah. Well, like how is he? They don't even air that anymore, do they? No, but he's still somehow getting paid for it. Or-